<laughs> hey, what's going on guys? Before we start today's video, I just want to let you guys know that I will be gone for deployment this summer. Um, can't tell you guys when, but uh, you'll notice that I'll be not really consistently posting videos every week. But um, I'll try to find time whenever I can, you know, get some Wi-Fi to post a video for you guys. Whether it's car related stuff or just, you know, seeing wherever I'm at in the world if you guys are interested in that. I'm also going to be gone for a month, but I am going to make videos ahead of time. That way uh, you guys will get more content uh, while I'm gone. As you can tell, I'm dressed up for work. I'm about to head on to the ship, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that and about today's video. So today's video is gonna be a car showcase and it's a special one because uh, it's a special car. <laughs> Actually, it's a, a limited edition car for the Civic Type R, FK8 Civic Type R. Now this car is really special and really unique and you guys just gotta have to find out <laughs> and watch the video. And so before we start today's video, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, like, comment, do all that stuff if you want to. All right, now I'm forcing you. And yeah, enjoy the video. See ya. Yeah, can I have an interview of your car? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah man, hell yeah. Right now? Right now, if you want. Yeah, he sold it. I got, so I got the, the, the Mugen King. Give me a walkthrough of his car. So this is a whole car though. A Mugen catalog car. Everything that you can get Mugen, it's on here. Yeah, my name is uh, Eric Sebastian and this is my 21 Civic LE. Alright, so it's it's pretty much stopped for now. I do have the downpipe, but I haven't installed it yet. Busy. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's 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 basic and uh, basically I have all the, the Mugen stuff or spoon stuff, right? Or OEM. That's the order I go by. Um, for now, as, as you already know, the whole car is moving out. Um, I do have the inventory intake. And I do have an HKS downpipe at home. And that's going in soon. You'll probably see this car at the, at the drag strip later on this year. Oh, nice. I do have the full slicks for it and, and everything already. So we'll do some drag racing, probably run like a 13.0 or 13.5. I don't care. Oh, nice. I, I don't really care, man. Can you drag race this one? Because uh, bracket race. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's pretty much it for the engine. All the exterior is just all Mugen. And of course, I do have the Mugen. I mean, uh, the spoon wheels today because oh, yeah. for traveling, I use the spoon wheels. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better. The spoon wheels look so good. It looks good. It actually looks good. All the Mugen pieces out outside look so... I know you had to like change the fog lights, right? The, yeah, yeah. The, the front is a uh, 2017. I did that so I could use the, the Mugen uh, grill course oh, gotcha. because it doesn't fit the newer ones oh. and uh and this the, the moving pieces on the on the grill now changing that on the 21 has the problem with the honda sensing mm -hmm. so i i imported a uh, uk grill just that side for it to cover the radar mm -hmm. cleanly everything works now with no error yeah. but before just slapping on the regular uh american uh grill mm -hmm. you get the code yeah. Because you need you need a cover for the radar. Ah, I see, I see. So now everything works. Excellent. What about the fog light? I see the fog light there. Oh, the fog, too, the fog lights, the, yeah, the fog light is, uh, that's the OEM um, Honda Access Blue. I do have the PRL, PRL intercooler with no stencil, of course. Yeah. You gotta keep it clean. Keep it clean. Unless they, they pay me. I got you. <laughs> I do have the oil cooler in there we have the i don't think it's pretty dark but yeah we have the parent oil cooler i chose it because it's so it's user friendly yeah it's easy to install and it's like right there i can't put an oil cooler in there because i modified that grill i modified the air dam mm -hmm. so the air goes straight to the intake even this you can put your whole hand in here like anybody else here you can't yeah. you can't do it because that's already i cut the whole beam everything is cut yeah what's the, what's the strap bar this strap bar is uh, beat rush titanium oh. by lyle japan four months wait Titanium. <laughs> okay and then the interior do you, you got like mugen parts in there the too, interior right? yeah so we got mugen front and back uh mugen wife Wife. Mugen wife there. <laughs> so this is uh, the Mugen piece here. Um, we get the bright rails and the Mugen seats. Oh, nice. Mugen uh, shift knob, Mugen steering wheel. Um, and I kept this OEM. I don't want. I had all kinds of. Uh, although 
uh, carbon zone Poland is, is good, mm -hmm. but I chose OEM for this car. Mm -hmm. So that's OEM. Wow. OEM carbon. So the OEMs, you gotta like take it out, right? It's not like an overlay? It, it is an overlay. Oh, it's overlay. It's overlay. It's overlay and I did not. I only peeled one one strip. Mm -hmm. I don't want, because I had a hard time peeling it off last time. So, gotcha. now I, so that, so we got the Mugen wing. Mugen wing. Of course. Oh, this is also Mugen, right? This is also Mugen, yeah. Right. It's but technically for FK7. For FK7. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Technically it's for FK7, but. I spoke to uh, Mr. Mugen last weekend and he uh -huh. likes the double wing. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got this. Uh, Mugen bolts all the way down. Ooh, wow. Mugen bolts to the wing. Um, actually, it's uh, the Mugen washers, right? Mm -hmm. The actual bolt is for uh, a steering wheel, Momo steering wheel. Oh, no way. That's because it's a different thread. Yeah, yeah. That's not the 10 millimeter. It's uh, actually it's a 6, 6 mm, I think. Uh, this is the UK, OEM for UK. This one? That's a Honda for the UK uh, Type R's. Uh, the exhaust, Korea, is that uh, Spoon or, or is that uh, Mugen also? The exhaust is Mugen, yeah. Oh. The exhaust, yeah. And I heard they're all titanium? They are titanium, yep. The lightest. You could actually, my sons can throw it, so. <laughs> yeah, cool. they're, they're the lightest Mugen plates. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So this is Japanese. Mm -hmm. So. Obviously, the the plate frame is for the bigger plates. Right. I ended up using a USDM carbon from eBay. Yeah. And then put the Japanese one on top. Mm. Oh. To make it work. It looks like it's one piece. It looks like it's one piece. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. It's like Filipino ingenuity. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I like traveling with the spoons. Yeah. Although I might have to get rid of them. Soon, oh. so hit me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit me up. You guys want the spoon? Well, How because much? I, I have the, the endless calipers. Oh, no, yeah, I was about to ask you. Okay, that. so I do have the endless calipers, but from the, the stuff that you sent me to measure, it's not gonna clear. It mm -hmm. doesn't seem like it's gonna clear the spoon wheels. Mm -hmm. So if you look there, the, the wheel barrels is pretty thick. Oh, so yeah, yeah. if it doesn't clear, then I'm gonna sell the wheels. Yeah, I know you have a lot of wheels. How many, how many wheels do you have right now? I know you've sold a few already. I had, yeah, I sold a few. I had 17 at one point. 17? 17 sets. So now uh, I think I have uh, seven or eight sets left. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we got the rye wire. Rye wire, of course. Uh, okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. an extra ground. <laughs> right. Anti-gravity battery. Mm -hmm. Very light. The guy was saying 30 pounds, but it's like four, it's like four pounds. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, melee design. That battery is, is, is so light. I yeah. mean, it's bolted down, but it looks my light. son can my son can throw that. Wow. So this is the the case for it. Yeah. And of course we got eat sleep race. Mm. Yeah, support the Filipinos. Yeah. And uh, I should get that too. I know. Right? <laughs> so that goes there and it's locked. Nice. Now, I know you had like a what we call it, the the little like bike in the. Oh, the motor the combo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was gonna bring it today, but I chose not to because mm. majority of the people here just saw it at each day. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like right, overexposed. Right. Gotcha. The most cleanest, expensive alley in the whole US, right? Pretty much everywhere, right? Pretty much. Would you say? I would say so, but I made a post a few weeks ago that I regret, mm. but it's not that it's expensive, mm -hmm. but the point is it's the way you put it together right you know what i mean I, it's still a lot of work mm -hmm. it's not just throwing in parts just because you have the money to buy it true, true. you know you still have to work hard for the money and people mm -hmm. don't understand that but right it's it's pretty good i mean i'm i'm happy with the way it is yeah uh, i am going back to the oem because i <laughs> it's uh to me it's a little bit too much carbon fiber mm -hmm. but for shows yeah it it brings it out more but I rather have the OEM covers mm. and we'll we'll bring it back bring it back bring it back you can probably sell these most likely for pretty much half I always sell stuff for half price oh nice That's you nice. know I sold my BBS wheels for two thousand dollars <laughs> yeah man what? I just pretty much gave it away so oh my god yeah man hit me up so the battery is about to die yeah so, all right man anyway, thank you so much hit this guy up if you haven't already hit him up uh instagram usa028 yep there you go thank you so much all right guys so that's it